How does Chinese HQ-16 SAM compare to Western modern anti-air system? The HQ-16, also known as LY-80 entered service in 2011. While the platform is a reverse-engineered copy of the Russian Buk missile system, the significant difference between the two designs is that HQ-16 uses a cold launch mechanism mounted on 8x8 trucks, and Buk is a hot launch missile from a tracked vehicle. HQ-16 Missiles The HQ-16 has been developed into four separate variants, of which the HQ-16A was the original and most basic. The HHQ-16 was developed for the People's Liberation Army Navy's warships and is the primary air defense system of the Type 054-class frigate, which is also operated by the navies of Thailand and Pakistan. The HQ-16B variant has an extended engagement range of 70 kilometers, whereas that of the initial platform was limited to just 40 kilometers. The HQ-16 missile weighs 650 kilograms and has a length of 5.2 meters and a diameter of 0.34 meters. It can intercept flying aerial targets at altitudes of 15 kilometers to 18 kilometers. The maximum interception range for aircraft is 40 kilometers, between 3.5 kilometers and 12 kilometers for cruise missiles flying at 300 meters per second. The manufacturer Shanghai Academy of Spaceflight Technology claims the single-shot kill probability is 75% against aircraft and 60% against cruise missiles. Radar and Guidance As a semi-active radar homing missile, the HQ-16 depends on four IBIS fire control radars, FCR, to illuminate targets. The missile guidance system comprises inertial guidance and semi-active radar homing at the terminal phase. The search radar automatically performs flight path processing and provides target engagement information to the guidance radar when a target is detected. Each HQ-16 unit consists of two radar units, one L-band passive phased array radar with an 85 km range and one IBIS 150S band 3D passive phased array radar with a 140 km range. The missile is limited to simultaneously intercepting perhaps up to eight targets at a time, potentially restricting its ability to deal with a determined saturation electronic attack. Comparing HQ-16 with IRIS-T and CAMMER The most significant difference between German IRIS-T SLM, Aster-15 and British CAMMER missiles are the guidance system, data link, and radar. While Western missiles are fitted with the active radar homing seeker and mid-course data link update, Chinese and Russian origin missiles still use 1980s semi-active radar homing missiles without an appropriate data link. The Buk and HQ-16 have limited threat libraries also knowledge as identification friend ORFO, IFF. The lack of target discrimination by phased array radar and IFF were two primary reasons why Russian Buk missiles shot down Malaysia Airlines Flight 17 over eastern Ukraine. Both IRIS-T, Aster-15, and CAMMER use active electronically scanned array radar for search and tracking purposes, Chinese and Russian origin radar still phases array radar which is limited to range and computing power and subject to electronic attack, jamming and anti-radiation missiles attacks. Accuracy is another big problem, most Russian missiles and Chinese derivatives are low-cost missiles with less hit-to-kill ratio than their Western counterparts. Based on the experience gained from acquiring HQ-16 missiles for Pakistan Army, Pakistan Navy opt-in for sea scepter missiles for the Turkish-made Miljim Corvettes. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram.